Hey y'all, Woodsy here. I went to a book sale at our local library in Huntington and the friends of the library were having a book sale on the fourth floor. Well, before you get there, you got to go past the Literacy Club bake sale. So I ended up, I got a coupon for a dollar off. And I found this book, which I'm going to share with Lady B, and it's free stuff for quilters on the internet. <laughs> this thing is just full of stuff. And let's see, which ones did I get? Okay, these. This this one. Uh, this is from the second time I went, but it's constellation of quilt constellation for quilters it's all star patterns and it, you know you go through there and it's it's just it's good it's great and here is the piece de resistance did I say that right I got this the first time I went because the first time I went I didn't realize that you could uh, get a bag of books if you join Friends of the Library for five bucks, and you could get a bag of as many books in as, as you wanted. So this one was in the first bag. It, it's a Georgia Bone Steel. Anybody that knows quilting knows who she is. This is uh, about a twenty-five at least dollar book. I got it for three dollars. It's great. And in that batch, I also got this 150 Weekend Crochet Projects. All kinds of good stuff. All kinds. Crocheted animals, doilies, washcloths, baby stuff. Okay, that was that, that pile right there. Uh, with my coupon, I only could get one coupon even though I went to the bake sale twice. Uh, that was six dollars, it was seven dollars and six dollars with dollar off coupon. So, I come home. I text Lady B and I said, You want to go to a book sale? She said, Sure. Well, they're going to have to get in tomorrow, okay? So, it may be such a thing. We'll even go back tomorrow. But I will try not to spend anything because I've seen a lot of books that I would really like. Uh, Great American Quilts, 1990. I've taken a book like this out of several libraries. Got a lot of, lot of good, good, beautiful oh, quilts in here. Where is that? Well, I'm not real fond of uh, the red work. Mm -hmm. Bear Paw in blue. I'm not sure why. What's this? Tommy's Castle Wall. Mm, yeah. I like those colors together. I, I'm, I'm kind of, uh, not kind of, I'm awful particular about my colors together. You know, some, it, it's not just all, oh, and I like that. And that's got all kinds of colors. That's a migration quote. Hmm. Love it. Um, basket quilt. I don't know about that. Um, Williamsburg Palm. That is, I think, cut work applique. I'm not too sure. You rarely will see me doing strip quilts or, or cutting with a cutter. I usually just trace my patterns on, cut them out by hand, sew them by hand. Because that's just me. This is kind of cute. Comical Country. It's got piggies and cows, sheep. It'd be good for somebody, you know, that one that's got in the corner, it's got chickens. Yeah. And I know a lady up in Canada that might like one like that. Mentioning no names, of course. But see, she has her patterns in the book. So this was a really, I, I really like those colors, but I'm not, I don't know. I'd, I'd have to see it up close. It's called Starry Castle. Now to me, I think I'd do that in blues and lavenders. 
and greens. Blues and greens. Yeah, and off-white maybe. Maybe a silvery gray. I love this. Judy Star Surrounded. Oh, yeah. Anyway, that I got the last trip. And then there's that one that I already showed you. But, then I came to the cookbooks. New Orleans Recipes. Not New Orleans, okay. New Orleans Recipes used in the South for more than 200 years. And I remember the name of the recipe that I'm sure it was in here because they've got cookies and candies and everything. Praline pecans or pecan pralines. Pralines, anyway. Uh, they make them and sell them down there. The street vendors do. Kind of like, uh, uh, what's those twisted bread knotted things that they have up here that they sell at, you know, vendors. I can't remember. But anyway. Uh, that recipe's in here. That's the reason I got this book. But it's got all kinds of good uh, seafood recipes. How to make oops, cornbread. It's just, and it's an old cookbook. And <laughs> I like old cookbooks. This is the Three Rivers cookbook. Uh, Huntington used to be called Three Rivers. Hmm, look at that little... Is that a caboose or a train car or whatever? A, a tram, maybe. Maybe they lifted them across the river. Not me, baby. <laughs> um, that was two dollars. But the after I get done with this pile, I'll show you. Uh, this has got all kinds of salads and you know bread, bread and butter pickles. Mmm, -hmm, plum sauce. Yeah, spicy uh, sauce. Sauce bursi for calf's liver sauce burst no I don't think so I like calves liver but I'm real particular California date cake fruit cake oh oh fruit cake yeah yeah and it says a marvelous white fruit cake originally from Virginia you'd be surprised at the people down here that don't know about fruit cake and love it but that's okay <laughs> because I love it enough for everybody when I make it I eat it Cheesecake, yeah. Well, anyway, Huntington used to be Three Rivers. That was the first name of it. Figure it out for yourself. And I found this, Healing Foods, the all to an authority on the curative powder of, power of nutrition. And that's got, of course, a lot of recipes, got a lot of uh, information in here. Counting up your caffeine intake. Hmm. Okay. Alrighty then. And of course I got some books to read. Uh, oh, th this was in the first batch. The big Christmas book, Good Old Days. This is a treasure trove, okay. Uh, poetry and, and just all kinds of old stuff. Old stuff. The Christmas I've Never Forgotten. Happy Christmas in Old Hollywood. I bet you there's something about Bing Crosby being there. Christmas at Grandma's. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That'll give me lots of reading to do. And Ann River Sitting Home Place. I don't have that one. I collect them. I don't have them. I was looking for Jean All uh, that wrote the Clan of the Cave Bear, the Mammoth Hunters, all that about the I guess in the anthrals, I'm not sure. But anyway, uh, I don't have a bunch of her books. I used to have all that. And I found this one. Hercule Perot casebook. It's got a bunch, a bunch, a bunch. All of these books were five dollars. Okay? Because I joined Friends of the Library and for five dollars you could fill up um, one of those plastic grocery bags. And that was my haul. I don't know if 
Miss B, Lady B's gonna do a video on hers, but she made quite a haul too. I knew she'd like this sale because there's all kinds of handyman books and plumbing and and quilt books. She she snagged a couple quilt books. We're gonna trade back and forth. Uh, this one is the one, the first one, but she looked through it. But uh, I'll take it down to her later after I look at it. But all of these books. Uh, six dollars the first time would have been seven, but I had my uh, goodies coupon. I mean my baked goods coupon and Got all of these books all, all of these for five dollars for the bag uh, The sale goes through tomorrow Anybody that sees this it's near enough to come boy. Have a good time <laughs> I'm done spending my money for the month, that's for sure. But you know, these are gonna these are useful. Cookbooks are always useful. Quoting books for me, uh, it's like getting a you know, it's a treasure. And it was eleven dollars for the whole thing. But now tomorrow it'll still only be five. No, five. Yes five dollars for a bag and depending on what kind of books you get I mean you can't some of these books some of these books you can't find uh, this book this healing foods that's expensive but anyway it's getting down to time for me to be uh, getting the end of my thing so hey guess what I'm gonna do I'm going to go look at my picture books and pick out uh, some patterns and some recipes. <laughs> oh, yes. And just have a good old time. We'll see you the next time. Maybe one of these times I'll get the end of my quilt done so I can show y'all. Okay. God bless you. Have a good day.